And now to the latest on that New Jersey mom we told you about who is charged with bringing her five-year-old daughter into a tanning booth. Patricia Krinsel was in court on Wednesday. She denied all charges, but her own appearance is raising new questions. ABC's Lindsay Davis is back with much more on this. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Robin. Bloggers are having a lot of fun with this story, saying the mom is in hot water and should end up where the sun don't shine. But this is actually a serious story. You have prosecutors saying mom brought her five-year-old tanning and some doctors saying mom is tanorexic. On top of accusations that she took her five-year-old daughter into a tanning booth with her, Patricia Krenzel, often referenced now simply as tanning mom, is gaining national attention for her own increasingly copper-toned complexion. I'm a great mother. I'm a wonderful mother. On Wednesday, she entered a plea of not guilty to second-degree child endangerment charges after the school nurse expressed concern about the child's sunburn. Okay, the then five-year-old Anna told her that she'd gone tanning with mommy. That prompted the school to call child services. But many are now wondering if Krenzel might have a problem of her own. Take a look at her tan skin in this mugshot taken on Monday. By the time she sat down with us on Tuesday night, okay, her skin was an even deeper um, bronze. I'm very tan, and I ta I've been tanning my whole life. Wow. Okay, when you look at this, this is a problem. This is somebody who most likely has a condition called tanorexia, where they just don't realize how much color they have, or she's at higher risk for skin cancer, and it also doesn't send a great message to her child. Even Snooky from the Jersey Shore, who's practically synonymous with a deep tan, is calling Krenzel crazy. Snooky, who's expecting a child of her own, told Extra, everyone knows you're not supposed to take kids there. It's very wrong to presume um, something that didn't happen because it didn't happen. But this New Jersey mom maintains her daughter's burn was from the sun, from a day spent gardening, not at a tanning booth, saying she'd never allow her daughter to go inside. They wrote the story saying, you know, she, Patricia took her into the tanning booth and they were tanning together, totally false. And then all of a sudden, like I, like I was a murderer. Krenzel's lawyer says he doesn't believe she's addicted to tanning. Place. Obviously, she tans. To call her an addict, I think, is a real leap. It seems like it's being exaggerated to emphasize, well, look at her. Look at her. She must have done this. The owner of the tanning salon where Krenzel goes says on the day in question, the little girl actually remained in the lobby with her father and brother and didn't go into the tanning booth at all. He also says she pays a flat fee of about $100 a month, which she buys unlimited tanning sessions. He says she goes for the maximum 12 minutes a session about 20 times a month, which if you just do the math, is about five times a week. 20 times a month? It's like a job. Oh, wow, that, that can't be good. No, not at all. Lindsay, thank you. Thanks very much.